as we begin the fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes, and you're right back in the ballgame. Here comes the screen. Gets it in the left corner. Let's it fly from long range. Oh, surprise. He hits it. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Derek Favors trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career, 66%. The free throw, good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Memphis with the rock. Now pass stolen by the Pelicans. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Shot from in close, no good. Ed, the game is so different. In today's NBA, defenders are longer, quicker, and more athletic than we've ever seen before. So offensively, as a shooter, you either have to be able to create more space off the dribble for your shot or have a much faster release. Ideally, you have both in your arsenal. To ball. Slam dunk, Derek Favors. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Terretic. Valanchunas. Trying to cash in. Wide open look, won't go. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Redick, that's playing with fire. J.J. Redick, wide open, good luck. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Going to launch beyond the arc. Buries it on the catch and shoot. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. But great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Ball to Favors. To ball. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. Man, if we were at Rucker Park right now, everybody would be wilding on the court. Guaranteed. Valentunas. Oh, he had him there for a second. Has a look. Now ready for a couple of free throws. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. That's good knowledge of personnel. down the first. Goes two for two. Hell 
Pelicans basketball. Ball. Turetic. Has a chance. Missed it. Not much more you could ask for from the defense there. To Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson at the line for two shots. For his career, 73%. And he connects on the first free throw. And he makes them both. Ball into the front court. Leads four. Work it down to favors. Throws it down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. It's Grizzlies ball. and slams it down. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. To Kyle Anderson. Here comes the screen. Shot clock winding down. 24 second violation. Now, opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Lonzo Ball, defended by Jones. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and the rebound belongs to Memphis. Grizzlies own the basketball. To Valanchunas. Five on the shot clock for Memphis. Oh, had him going there for a second. Trying to cash in. You talk about forcing things up. Too much pressure that time. Lonzo with it. It's an eight-point lead. the outside no good Jones with it We're looking to make something happen to Jaron Jackson Dylan Brooks missed it almost a foul they let it go but you can't just be a one-dimensional player I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that but when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. Gets it to go in the foul. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact. and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Whoops, that won't go. Holiday controls the basketball. Up six. To Redick. Holiday to Redick. Fine to shoot. And it's rebounded by Brooks. Grizzlies at the controls right now. The screen sets him up for two. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him.
Holiday in possession. They lead it. Four-point game. To Josh Hart. To Holiday. Can't connect. Missed a short one there. Holiday controls the basketball. He'll run the offense. Goes to the left side. Off the mark. Well contested. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. Here comes the screen. Oh, Nothing three. going here on that drive. To Jaron Jackson. Fires the three. Jaron Jackson is going to get three shots here. Hasn't missed yet. Can't connect on the first free throw. Missed the middle one. One more coming. And he knocks down that free throw. Entering the game for the Pelicans. New Orleans will take it up. Holiday. To Josh Hart. Four three, unbothered. Josh Hart hits the three. For average shooters, that's not a great shot. But for a great shooter, <laughs> that's a good look. To Jaron Jackson. Anderson. Beyond the arc for three. Tyus Jones. It's going to get a chance at three here. A career 81% free throw shooter. First one, count it. Knocks down the second free throw. Perfect from the line. It's all three of them. To Holiday. Here comes the screen. Drew Holiday, defended by Jones. To Favors. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Short jumper stays out. Memphis, they've got it. Knocked loose. Pelicans have it. Jonas Valanciunas. Oh, away. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Favors. Oh, good defense by Memphis as they come up with the steal. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. All right, that was a little bit of a gamble there, but not a terrible move sending him to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Able to convert on both free throws. Holiday in possession. Leads just a point. To favors. Scores from the post. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Jones with it. His guy's down three. Dylan Brooks. 
New Orleans has it. Favors, knocked loose, picked up by Memphis. Josh Jackson. To Dylan Brooks. Here comes the screen. Dylan Brooks. Has a look. Jackson shot, no good. And it's never a great thing when you're talking to yourself the entire next possession about the shot you just missed. Now you know you're in that player's head mentally. To Favors. Five to shoot for the Pelicans. Great defense there. Forcing the pickup. Bad pass. Taken away by the Grizzlies. From a guy who's been there before, tomorrow morning you'll wake up and you would have wished this was a bad dream. But in reality, all you can do is knock the cobwebs off and let it fuel you for tomorrow. Josh Jackson has got two shots coming. Shooting 75% so far tonight. And gets both to drop at the line. Ball brings the rock up court to Favors. Off the mark. Takes stock of the floor. Grayson Allen. Here comes the screen. Count the basket inside. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Whistle stops play. Timeout New Orleans. They trail by one. Who's it going to be as they get ready for the final shot? Holiday. Ingram defended by Jackson. To ball. New Orleans down to four in the shot clock. Lonzo Ball and the Grizzlies able to clear the rebound. Two huge free throws in a one-point game. Intentional foul is going to make them earn it at the line. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. down the second after missing the first. The Pelicans will take the timeout. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? That misses with two seconds to go. Grizzlies get the victory as they win a close one by two. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Hey, everyone. It's Jalen Rose. And it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Grizzlies did what great teams do best. Finish. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. The Pelicans lost a tight one today, and you can see the disappointment. They shot exceptionally well from beyond the arc, but even that long-range efficiency wasn't enough for them to get the win. The Pelicans got their point score from these guys on screen. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, 
they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Jackson Jr. gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course, but even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Time now for the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.